Hi, I'm Pi Guy Pepin. And I'm the cameraman, Chemical Charlie. We're and doing... today we're going to be doing an experiment with sodium bicarbonate or baking soda, and mixing oh. it with hydrochloric acid to form water and carbon dioxide and NaCl table salt. Okay, and we're going to determine the, the, the actual uh, yield and the percent yield for the amount of salt. So we've already weighed the beaker empty and now. Pie Guy Pepin is going to add some sodium bicarbonate, maybe just a little more, and weigh it again. And then we're going to take it outside. Yeah, I'm recording. recording. Okay, I'm going to add hydrochloric acid to the sodium bicarbonate. It's fairly concentrated, so I'm going to, 31%, so I'm just going to add a little bit at a time. As you can see, bubbles are coming off, and that's carbon dioxide. The hydrochloric acid is kind of volatile because it's a gas dissolved in water. And it seems like the reaction has stopped. So I've added the rather concentrated hydrochloric acid to the sodium bicarbonate, and it did stop fizzing, so it seems like the reaction is complete. And I do have some white at the bottom. I thought the sodium chloride would be dissolved, so I'm going to add a little bit of water to see if it does. I'd like to get it all dissolved. Okay, so probably because there was such a high amount of chloride ion, it wasn't very soluble. I have excess hydrochloric acid. Okay, so it's all dissolved, and the next thing we're going to do is put it on a hot plate and evaporate all the water off. All of the, any excess HCl will just evaporate into the atmosphere. And uh, if there's any dissolved carbon dioxide, that will come off. But the sodium chloride should uh, stay in the beaker. And so after we, after we heat it to dryness, uh, we'll weigh it again. And we'll compare the actual yield to the theoretical yield. One thing I'm concerned about, it may be difficult to get all of the water out of there. So if we get a, a, a theoretical yield that's greater than 100, we know we've made some mistake. So now we are going to use a hot plate to heat up the um, products of the reaction. And we will evaporate the water and the um, hydrogen chloride that's left over so that we'll be left with NaCl, the, the sodium chloride table okay. salt. So uh, uh, this is going to take some time. I'm going to heat it very gently. Okay, we've uh, heated up the product of the reaction and you can see the sodium chloride that we've collected. It's been heated very uh, for a very long time and we think it's come to constant weight. All right, so what should we do now? Shall we weigh it? Okay. 82.3 okay. grams. After reacting 2.98 grams of sodium bicarbonate with excess hydrochloric acid and getting sodium chloride, water, and carbon dioxide, we evaporated off the water and got the um, solid sodium chloride and and took the mass of it and it was 2.08 grams of sodium chloride. So then we calculated the theoretical yield. So we took the 2.98 grams of sodium bicarbonate and converted that to moles of sodium bicarbonate by taking one mole of sodium bicarbonate per 84 grams of sodium bicarbonate. And then we converted the, using the one to one molar ratio to moles of hydrogen of so, sodium chloride. And then we converted to grams of sodium chloride using the 58.44 gram molar mass. And then we got a result of 2.07 grams of sodium chloride, which is within error of the actual yield. So it is approximately a 100% percent yield.